Good morning. How's everybody doing today? I um, I realize I'm a few minutes late. Maybe some of you haven't noticed that. No big deal. Um, I'm looking. I'm just looking for one ingredient right now. And hey, Carl. Uh, Carl, if you could tell me. I don't know. You're probably not listening, but if. You probably have it on silent, but if you can tell me if you can hear me okay, that'd be great. Or if somebody can, um, just let me know. Joshua, where's my mint? Sorry, he's. I was helping me set out, and I'm looking around, and I don't see it. The fresh mint? Oh, I think the fresh mint. It's right there. All right. Okay, we have it. Good. Thank you. I wasn't sure if you said it somewhere oh, up here, no. so... How is everybody doing today? Welcome, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Shelly from Art For My Table, where I help you answer the question, um, what's for dinner? Or what am I gonna eat next? How about that? Thank you, Carl, for letting me know that. Um, Carl, I'm, I'm trying out the microphone, so I'm just wondering if the sound is any better than normal. So hopefully you guys don't like trip over this because it's not cordless. But anyway, so today um, we're gonna make Two things, so I'm gonna show you how I love, I'm actually using like three of my favorite kitchen appliances or kitchen tools today. Um, I was like pulling everything out of my pantry because I have a countertop in there where um, it has power, so I leave a lot of stuff just in there and use it, but then, then I can't talk to you, so, and I can't show you. So we're gonna do hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. It takes just 15 minutes and they peel perfectly, at least they have for me so far, every time. So I'm gonna share that with you, and it's just quick and hands off. So um, I know it's not that hard to boil them on the stove either, but I just am really enjoying this method. Especially because most of my eggs, I get very fresh, like straight from the chicken. Um, from a, I have a source that raises chicken. So we're gonna do that. We're, I, I also have a brand new gadget that I received in the mail this week, so I haven't even tried it yet. I'm gonna try it with you first, live. And then um, we're gonna make a better for you, clean version of the Shamrock Shake. If you like Shamrock Shakes, give me a heart. So let me just take care of my little housekeeping really quick here, and then we will get started. In the meantime, you guys can let me know where, I say you guys all the time, is that like a Midwest thing? I hate when I say it, but if I say, y'all then that sounds weird because i'm not really from the south so anyway you can let me know where you're watching from are you at work today are you at home what city state country and i will just get this i'll take a minute and get this posted here and then we'll get started thank you for your patience We had a pretty warm February um, with lots of melted snow, so then we actually didn't have any snow on the ground, and then I went to bed one night and I woke up the next night, or the next morning, and guess what? We had snow. So, oh joy. Welcome, hello March, is what I like to think. Almost finished here. Just want to make sure I have all the links for you guys um, in the description so that you can grab what you need.
Tira. Fellow Michigander, so you are enjoying the lovely snow as well. Okay, let's get started. So what we're gonna start with is, but, whoops, sorry, got all these appliances sitting out here. We're gonna start with doing hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. It just takes 15 minutes, and I think what I noticed the most was that they just peel super, super easy. So hopefully that happens today, <laughs> right? It's always like you say it and then like you try to show someone it doesn't work out. So hopefully it'll be fine, but I had great luck. So you're gonna start with, you wanna put the rack in your pin, in your Instant Pot. Um, this It came with this. You can use a steamer basket if you want to, or just use this, it works out fine. And then you wanna use a cup of water, throw that in the bottom. And then I'm just gonna gently place uh, my eggs in the pot. And I'm doing a dozen. That fits pretty nicely in here. I've never done more than a dozen at one time because I don't want to um, overcrowd it. So this just works nice because there's still like a, like a flat layer of eggs, okay? And then I just have to grab the top. You guys wanna look in my cupboards? <laughs> Oopsies. Okay. Forgot to get out my vanilla extract too. Boy, everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna just put it on. I wanna make sure it's in the sealed position. Oh, Pam, you can't hear me. Okay, um, I have, okay, can you, those of you that are watching, can you pipe in, tell me if you can hear me, because I know one person said they could hear me, one person said they cannot hear me, so I wonder if I can write my own comment. I'm going to write it right in there and see if I can get some, okay, Carm can hear me. Carl can hear me. Okay, I have a lot of people that are saying they can hear me. So, uh, thank you, you guys. I appreciate it. So, Pam, I'm sorry. I want. I don't know. Um, I can hear you. I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, I think it might be on your end. I'm really sorry uh, about that. So, okay. But thank you for good. I'm so glad. And hi, Mary from California. Good morning. It's early there, kind of. Okay, so I have these in. And let me just turn on my Instant Pot. I'm just doing it on manual. It's on high pressure. It's five minutes. And so um, we're just going to let this go. It usually takes, with this little amount of water in it, it usually takes maybe five minutes to pressurize and then it will stop, start the countdown. And then I'm gonna let it natural release for like five minutes. And then I'm going to, um, just checking you, you can hear me, can you hear me? Okay, good. And then, and then if there's still any pressure left, we're gonna just release it manually, okay? So I'm gonna set this off to the side for now and let it do its thing. And next we're gonna work on um, whipped cream. So I have, heavy whipping cream and I've got to grab, oh, I like forgot to leave out some ingredients or I forgot to put get out some ingredients today. Hello, Canada. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Felicia. I'll be right back, guys. All right. Let's get this open. So I'm gonna do this in my KitchenAid stand mix mixer. Hello, Vermont. I've always wanted to go to Vermont. Pearl, what a beautiful name from Vermont. Okay, let's see. I wanna see if I can get this in the frame here. Okay, so in my KitchenAid, you know what really is great when you do um, whip, homemade whipped cream is get your bowl nice and cold. So just pop it in the refrigerator for a few minutes. And so um, <laughs> uh, that's good. And I'm just going to do, whoops, a cup 
Actually, I'm going to spill it first. Here we go. I am just all frazzled today. I don't know what's going on. It's probably because I was running late and I was, quite frankly, stressed out about it. So, hello, Martin from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And somebody likes my backsplash. Thank you. That is absolutely my splurge in my kitchen. I had to order it from somewhere else. Nowhere local had it and I love it too. So thank you very much. Okay, I'm just doing a cup. This will turn into a lot, way more than what I need for one shamrock shake. So what I'm going to add to here is um, some sweetener. Now I personally like to use a stevia based sweetener. There's enough sugar in the other things that I'm doing today. Um, but then I can enjoy this on other things guilt-free. So um, I can, I'm just gonna add probably three packets. I like it kind of sweet. Add these, but you can just do this with like a tablespoon of sugar. It's totally fine. Hi, Laura. Another Canadian, welcome. So you guys, sometimes these comments, they just go up really fast. So if I, um, if I miss something that you say or a question that you have, just retype it or no, I will come back to it when I'm finished with the live. So perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little mint extract. We are making mint whipped cream because this is going to go on top of our clean, better for you, homemade, all natural version of a shamrock shake. So, did I ask you guys if you like shamrock shakes yet? I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of mint extract. So I have all that in there. And now I'm just gonna get this going and do some homemade whipped cream. I usually get a towel and I will um, just cover this so that it doesn't splatter everywhere. And I'll just start it out kind of slow until it gets going and then I'll put it up more. So, hi Nancy. Oh, did I say hi to you already? It doesn't matter. Hi Nancy. Hi Christina. Thanks for tuning in. Deb, I am actually just making whipped cream right now to go on top of a homemade all natural shamrock shake. So I'm not making cake today. Um, so this is, I used mint extract, some sweetener, and just heavy cream. And it, at first it's kind of liquidy, so. And I'm not sure how well you can hear me when I try to talk over it, but. We do have to wait a minute just to let it let it do its thing. Thanks. Is it Kiki? Is that how I say your name? It is really good. And you know, I just love um, this on other things too, like on chocolate, like a chocolate mint kind of yeah. Yes, Laura. I want that. I want that sweater guard. I'll tell you why I don't have one. I'm gonna just show you guys what's happening here. Sorry for all that camera movement. Um, still, sorry. Hello, hello. You know, this is just a, a one man, one woman show, so, you know. I have to be the camera person and the... There. Okay, so yes, nice, soft, stiff peaks is what you're going for. So I totally need to get that sweater guard. I just <laughs> use my towel. Um, my KitchenAid, I actually inherited from my... <laughs> uh, you're funny, Martin. Um, I actually got this when I got married to my husband. Now, I didn't register for it. He actually already had one, so I didn't need to register. And quite honestly, I didn't bake very much. I was a single woman. I was in my 30s. If I baked, I ate it. 
So I had a home office, so I couldn't bring treats into the office. So I, it's, you know, I just never really knew what I was missing until I used it one time after a mirror and I was like, this thing is the bomb. So this guy is probably close to 20 years old and I would love a really fun color and an updated one. Like I love the bowl with the handle, which I know I could just go and, and purchase. I've been getting a lot of attachments lately. I actually have a video on my page of five different things that you can do with your KitchenAid that will make your life easier. So I'm gonna just set this aside for now. And now we're gonna move on to our Shamrock Shake. So we are using real fresh mint. Vanilla ice cream, fresh mint, Vanilla extract, it's optional really if you want to use it or not. Um, there, usually there's enough in the ice cream, but it's your choice. And we'll tap it off with some whipped cream and we will um, put some chocolate sauce on it too. So, okay. So you're going to need about a half a cup of fresh mint leaves. And so I do just take them right off the stem. And I'm going to call my, um, I did say this is a one woman show for the most part of it is because um, <laughs> uh, it was meant to be. You're hilarious. Okay. Um, oh, good. You're here, Joshua. Mm -hmm. Can you help me out? Mm -hmm. I need that um, tool that I use from Pampered Chef that you use for the frosting. Yeah. Can you get that down for me? There's a stool back here. Back where? That one? Yep. If you need that to reach it, probably. I might so, one, but... yeah, whatever. Um, I'm gonna have him help me out a minute. So the the beauty of being homeschooled, right? Oops. Those are the attachments. <laughs> it will. It all should be in there, huh? Oh, okay. It's all in there together. Yep. If I put it away, it is. So. Hello, Tim from Southern California. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Now, with what I'm gonna make the Shamrock Shake in is my other favorite. I, you know, like I, the Instant Pot's my favorite, the KitchenAid's my favorite, and the Vitamix is my favorite. I have a lot of favorites. So, um, I'm gonna use the KitchenAid, or not the KitchenAid. <laughs> I, I have too many appliances up. I'm gonna use the Vitamix. And one thing that's great about the Vitamix is because it's such a high powered blender, um, it will, as long as I just let it run, it's going to chop all of this up into really fine pieces so you won't have any like green, you know, flakes going around in there. Okay, does that make sense? Um, but if you do not have a KitchenAid, then you can give it a little help by giving it a rough chop. So I always like to review my knife skills for anyone that is, if you like are not using a kitchen knife, chef's knife, whatever you want to call it, these are fantastic and it will just make all of your chopping so much easier. So um, the first thing, you know, and you should just have a knife that feels comfortable in your hand. Some of them are heavier, some of them are longer. Um, some of them have a rounded blade on the bottom, so it just depends what you're using it for, but you always want to grip it with your thumb and your forefinger. So, um, uh, Pakistan and Taiwan, wow, welcome, hi. And so you want to grab that and then we're just going to use this part of the blade for the chopping. So I see a lot of people cutting like this with their finger on top of the blade. And the issue with that is that you don't have a good firm grip on your knife and so it can slip from side to side, which could be a hazard. So we always want to do that. All right, let me pop back here and check. I wanna make sure that you guys can see me cutting this. So I'm gonna just angle it down a little bit. All right. So I'm just going to give it a rough chop. This is what you would do if you were putting it into a regular blender. And just, just expect in a traditional blender that you might have some little green flecks. But hey, that's festive. Kind of depends who you're making it for, right? 
If you've got picky eaters in your house, you might not want green flecks. So I have one minute left on the eggs. They have one minute for their cook time and then we're gonna give it another five to naturally release. Hey Joshua, my lovely assistant. He's a boy, he probably doesn't wanna be called lovely. Need a little bit of help here. You grab the extension cord. Oh look, it's done, yay. Okay, no, no, right down on the stool there please. I just need to move it. And then I also need that fancy milkshake glass if you wanna grab that. So. Which one? The one with the whisk? Go up in the, nope, it just looks like a milkshake. Get a, get a stool and go up in there. So, um, this is my, my sous chef, my assistant. He loves being in the kitchen, so this is fun. Okay, I totally lose my train of thought. Someone asked a question. Um, this is a, I don't know what it looks Epicurean, like. I believe, is the brand of the cutting board. And hey, April. And it is, um, I got this one at Sir La Table. You can find them at, you can find it on Amazon. You can find them at, I think Bed Bath & Beyond carries them, but it's a pressed um, wood fiber. And um, it's, it doesn't like hold germs at all. So it, you can put them in the dishwasher. They're really handy. So, hey girl. Yes. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. I'm gonna grab some ice cream. Hold on. Because we're making a milkshake. Thank you. Okay, so I just have to check my measurement here for how much I need. So this, we're gonna do three quarter cups of all natural vanilla ice cream. So this is what keeps this recipe clean and natural is when you purchase or make your own ice cream that just has natural ingredients. So this is made out of milk, cream, sugar, and it doesn't have any um, like high fructose corn syrup or unnatural sweeteners or anything. So it's all natural. This one happens to be organic. There actually is a brand that I really like using and it was not in my store when I went to buy this. So that was strange and disappointing. Thanks bud, you're the best. He is a good son. All right. Too much stuff. Too much stuff on my countertop. Okay, so we're gonna take three quarter cup of ice cream, and yes, I'm whoopsies, totally eyeballing it here. So I do have measurements on my Vitamix, but this isn't melted, so. can't see by measurements. Okay, there we go. Let's do one more scoop. All right. So I went to the store today to buy all natural vanilla ice cream and, you know, just went for one thing and I left with three things of ice cream. So that's how that went. Um, I bought a couple of Halo Taps, Halo Tap ice cream. Has anyone tried that? Give me a thumbs up if you have. Um, it's got protein in it, and a serving size is really only um, half of the whole container, but I think that's wrong. I think a serving size should be the whole thing because it's just, it's just not enough. So, anyways. Hey, thanks, Mark, for tuning in. You can catch the rest on the replay later, and it'll also be up on YouTube. All right, so we want a small bunch of mint leaves, um, stems removed, about a half a cup.
There we go. Alright, set this out of the way. Set this out of the way. The sink is getting full of dishes. And we'll bring the bathing. Hi, Don. Thanks for tuning in. All right. I'll grab a little bit of milk. And then we're going to turn this again. Okay, real quick, my eggs have had natural yeast been on natural release for five minutes and now I'm gonna flip the switch okay so every expert will tell you like I'm gonna move this out so it doesn't go under my cupboard and I have a little room here um, every expert will tell you to use a um, oven mitt or something like that so me too John all right so here we go with that and there's not a lot of water in there Sometimes when there's a lot of liquid in there, that just thing goes like on forever. It's so funny. So we will get to that in just a moment. Now we're just going to mix those up. Yep, I just used my fingers to get that mint leaf down. Hope you don't mind. It's hard to talk over, so just bear with me for a minute here. I just feel like it needs a little more ice cream, so. Dawn, I am making right now a cleaner version, homemade, all natural, shamrock shake. We are also working on hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. Just got done. I'm also making a mess. <laughs> Just in case anyone's wondering. All right. multitasking in the kitchen right now so how many of you multitask I say um, yes Don it is it's really good thank you Shanna or Shana not sure how to say your name now I still think I, you know honestly this is a little I like them a little bit thicker so I think that that's what happens when you eyeball stuff you know I think hey I know this recipe no big deal I'm just gonna eyeball but I think maybe next time I won't even use any uh, milk. Actually, I was looking at the recipe and it didn't call for milk, and I thought, that's weird. So, um, 
Yeah. Okay, so let's pause on the shake for a second. Our eggs are cooked. So what we did for this, I'm just gonna put them in this ice bath right here uh, because I want it to stop cooking. So we put one cup of water in the Instant Pot and then we turned it on to high pressure for five minutes, just manual mode. And then um, Dawn, I, it's one of my faves too. Oh yeah, I know everybody craves it this time of year too. So, um, and then we put it on for five minutes. We let it natural release for five minutes. And then I just helped, you know, did the manual after that. So now I've got them in a nice bath just because I want them to stop cooking immediately. All right, next up. We're going back to the shamrock shake. Okay, Olin, thank you for coming. Yes, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Fridays, and the replay will be up so you can come back and watch it. All right, so this is a little, um, what's this called? Easy Accent Decorator from Pampered Chef. And so I'm just going to load this with my mint whipped cream. Now, you don't have to do this, okay? This, this is just to make it go on top of the shake in a pretty pattern. You know, kind of similar to when you, um, you get them from McDonald's or, what am I trying to, what am I thinking of? Um, oh, the can, like the can, but this is so, just so much better for you, so. Want to get it in there solid, otherwise you get kind of gaps in your. There we go. So this is great for, you know, decorating. You can use it for, um, with frosting, for cookie decorating or cake decorating, whatever. All right, so let me find the tip I'm gonna use here. I'm gonna do this star. Okay, so now that is all set and ready to go. Just got so many things going on here, okay. We're going to pour our shake in, and this is some homemade chocolate sauce, and this is just cocoa. It's a cup of just cocoa powder, you know, unsweetened, that you get in your baking aisle. It is three-quarter cups of brown sugar, three-quarter cups of granulated sugar, vanilla extract, and water. And so you put those the dry ingredients in first and whisk it really good to get the lumps out and then you add your water and you cook that until the sugar melts and so um, you'll put that then you'll turn it down and let it simmer until it kind of reduces so when I've made this before I've added a full cup of water and I felt like it was a little bit too runny I wanted it to be a little bit thicker this time so I added about a half a cup uh, actually maybe even a two-thirds probably two-thirds of a cup so um, so if you want to you know make your um, squirt down there yeah this one's really thick if you want to make your cup fancy you can just sort of drizzle that in there or you can just do it straight you know like straight down the sides like they do up. I think that's how they come at McDonald's and then we're gonna pour our milkshake yeah, I'm sorry guys, this one is too thin. I, when I looked at the recipe and saw that it had no milk in it, I thought that was wrong, but apparently it was right. So just do the ice cream. And then we're gonna tap it off here. Because whipped cream. My son is going to be in seventh heaven. And then we can tap it off with some more 
chocolate sauce. Looks good. He says it looks good. I think so too. So there you go. And then see how just doing that little, um, you can just drizzle that chocolate in there. It just makes it fancy. So we like fancy at our house, but we don't always do it. And then it's starting to drip down. So there it is. Not everyone does the chocolate. That is true. You know, you could just use whatever. Uh, Bobby, are you using, mm, Bobby, you can go. So I'm going to just quick block him a second. Perfect. Okay. So, um, there's our shit. How's the taste? I haven't tasted he it. He hasn't gotten down to the thing yet, gonna, so. Right. Use a but this is really good. Yeah, you can use a straw. All right. Okay, so now I have two more things to show you. So much better than the artificial crazy green. I know, Tara, right? So I did discover not long ago, and um, we've just used them once, but they do have all natural food coloring. I I think it's McCormick brand actually. Is it McCormick? So it's the same brand that was that one that. Yes, much prettier. Okay, good. All right, so two things. I have my eggs here. Now this week in the mail, I'm gonna show you this gadget, and this is the first time I'm using it, is right here, live. So, we'll see if it works. And I know that my son really wants to help me with this. This is an egg peeler. Okay, has anyone ever used this before? Just type in the comments, yes, if you've ever used it before. Maybe you've thought about it. Is it showing up backwards? I hate when it does, I hate how it does that. Anyways, um, this is by, I believe it's just by Neg, yeah, The Neg. It's called The Neg. And so, it's this little container and you're supposed to put water. It looks like it can go either way. So you're supposed to just put a little bit of water to cover there, and the inside you can see that, um, it's like curved, it's got like a little bump. So you're supposed to put water just to cover that and then put your egg in and shake it up and it's supposed to peel it. So, I've never tried this, but we're gonna try it. Can I shake it? Yes, you can shake it. All right. I think it said like just covering it, right? Um, probably, sounds right. I feel like I read the directions before, but hey, if I read it two days ago, I probably don't remember what it said. Anyone else relate to that? Oh my goodness, too much time on this. Okay, I can't get the rain off. Perfect, okay, finally. So, let's take our egg and put it in there. And then you just put this on. Is it screwing? Oh, just. Boy, I feel like that taps, there we go. All right, have at it. Let's see if this works. You gotta shake it like crazy, man. It Shh. says four shakes, but it says four shakes. He read the directions and remembers. Okay. And then open. Oh, it. it's coming off. And slide it. You grab me a bowl. Sure. Okay. Don't break it. Just take. Okay. Oh, slide it. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> Wait, you're not. You gotta do it on the camera. We gotta do another one. Okay. Okay. So that'll be fun. Let me get a bowl. Okay. Do I have a bowl? I have a bowl. Oh, okay. here. Cool. Just put it in there for now. All right, I get a bowl for the egg peels. Okay, we got it. There's egg peels in there. Okay. okay, so now we're gonna we'll try it one more time. I don't know if you're supposed to clean it out in between, but you're supposed to shake it four times. Now I'm Wait, gonna get. Don't forget the egg. Don't forget the egg. That's why I have him. Okay, Don. Don, I'm just making two different things that don't necessarily go together today. So I don't normally do that, but I am doing it today. Get right on there All so right. I can see you. Shake it four times or whatever it says. Four to six. Four to six times, but you shake it. So I just wanted to show Don, hang on one second. Oh, it broke. Ooh, this one broke, okay. So I don't but, think it's gonna work. But there's a really pretty um, egg in there. Pretty yolk in there. 
Okay, so that one's coming off. Works better than normal. Whoops. So it got stuck, but it works. I don't think you have to change the water every time. I think it's just bothering me because it's broke. Okay, so this is the last time we're going to do it. And then, Don, I'm going to answer your question. Because that is a very valid, fair thing to say. Now, wait a minute. Okay. We need to see. Let's start. We need to see what goes faster. Just doing it by hand or doing it there. Let's make sure they can see really well. Okay, let's not knock over right. the chocolate. Are you ready? Don't be in a hurry. Okay. Okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> I think I didn't <laughs> shake it very much, but. Hey, you're stepping on my mic cord, thanks. Oh. All right. What do you guys think? What do you think? Easier. Is it a keeper? It's an easy, it is easier. I didn't cut myself. I think that time I did it faster, but we'd have to have more, um, more tries. So that is the very first time that I've ever used an egg. I think that's a pretty cool tool. If you have, you know, room to store it or whatever else, if you want your kids to help you, that's great. Cause you know, sometimes they have a hard time getting it started. Um, but I also wanted to point out just how easy, even with this, these peel after cooking in the Instant Pot because these are very fresh eggs. Like I just got them uh, a couple days ago, I think. And usually when I have very fresh eggs and I do them on the stove top, they don't peel really well. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, no. All right, so John, I'm coming back to you. Something else to spend money on, Tammy says, yes. Okay. So Don, today I was just making two separate, I just wanted to show two separate things that are spring related. So first I wanted to show you how to cook your eggs in the Instant Pot and how they peel super easy when you do it. I happened to get this gadget this week, so I thought it would be a great time to try it, just live and on camera, not pre-try it, because that's just kind of fun sometimes. And, um, and then also with the eggs, I'm gonna show you just a hack that I have for chopping them that goes really quick, like if you're making an egg salad or something like that. So, and then I also wanted to show you the all natural, um, better for you, cleaner version of the Shamrock Shake. So, you could eat them together, but it wasn't necessarily, you know, like a meal that actually went together this time. So, hopefully that makes sense. And, and Tammy, I don't even know how much they are. The Neg actually sent this to me. It was like surprise, surprise mail is what I had today. Or a couple days ago, whatever I got. Okay, so now I'll show you really quick. Um, a couple of these have some shells stuck in them, so I'm going to rinse it, and then I'll show you my egg chop hack. So if you have to chop a whole bunch of eggs for egg salad or something like that, this works great. This is just a cooling rack that you would use for cookies. <laughs> All right, good. I'm glad you get it done. Sorry, I know it was kind of confusing. So I even questioned it with um, my good friend. I was like, does that make sense? And she's like, yeah, it's spring. It's fine. So. Um, so just a cookie baking sheet, the one that has the squares in it, and I just lay that over the top of my bowl, and we'll tilt this down so you can see it better, and then just take your egg and press it through, and you have perfectly chopped egg. And also, you'll notice how beautiful. I'll give you a better shot in a second. Can you guys see that okay? Um, how perfectly cooked they are after only five minutes in the Instant Pot. I mean, these the yolks are not overdone. They're not underdone. Like, they're perfect. So, finally. So, that's that. Okay. 
Isn't that awesome? So everything is uniform in the nice same. So that is my egg chopping hack. So I just released on the blog last week uh, an egg salad recipe that is so good. I kind of found that I every time I made egg salad, I was always like, you know what would be really good on this? Avocado and ooh, tomato and how about some strips of bacon? And how about some cheese? So I love to like load up my um, my egg salad sandwiches. So I thought, hey, why don't I just put all that stuff in my egg salad? So I did, and then I ate it on lettuce cups, and it was phenomenal. But you could eat it on an English muffin. You could eat it on um, just regular bread, toast, whatever. I even thought, and I haven't tried it yet, but I even thought it would be super good if you put it on like English muffins and then put it under the broiler a little bit just to kind of warm it up and melt the cheese. Mm. Now I used blue cheese in it. If you're not a blue cheese fan, just use something else. Um, but it's sort of, it's kind of inspired by the Cobb salad. So it has bacon, tomato, avocado, and I use yogurt for um, a lighter, I mean, I know that that's, it's a, it, it's a loaded egg salad. So it's, heavier than your traditional egg salad. However, that's one way just to make it a little bit better for you. So um, I used Greek yogurt in it and blue cheese dressing, a homemade blue cheese dressing, a homemade blue cheese dressing that you can make in two minutes. So if you guys want me to link those two recipes for you um, in the description, I will do that or in the comments. So Jacqueline, you have a neg and you love it. Gave some of gifts and they loved it too. I love hearing that, that's great. That was literally my first time using it, was right now. So, Lynn. Ooh, scallions are gorgeous in egg salad for green onions, as you might call them. Yes, yes, I would call them either. Um, and that does add great flavor and beautiful color too, so. All right, I think that is all I was showing you today. So, a couple things. Um, if you want to get recipes in your inbox, you can sign up for my newsletter, and it's in the description above, or I think it's above, above or below, I forget, <laughs> I forget where it is on Facebook, but anyways, um, the link is in there, and you can just click on that and sign up, and then every, just once a week, I send out recipes to your inbox, if you like that sort of thing. Um, I also have a book of smoothies, if you like smoothies and that will just come to you as a gift if you want to sign up. So there's that, and I'll be back next Friday. Oh, YouTube. So I have a YouTube channel, and it's kind of just been sitting around, but now I've been uploading all my Facebook Live videos as well as some other videos up to YouTube. So if you like to watch things on YouTube, uh, tutorials, just videos, I just have some random things up there that some new kind of styles of videos that I'm trying. So um, you'll see a variety of things, but if that is something that you want notifications when there's something new, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I could link that for you because, um, like I said, it's a newer channel, so it's not just YouTube art for my table. It's like some weird special number that I could probably never memorize. So, but someday it'll just be easier to find. So. Uh, let me know. Leave me a comment if you want that, and I'll just reply to your comment with that link. So next week, Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, thank you so much for joining me and interacting and engaging. It was so much fun, and I just loved um, getting to know you guys and seeing you tune in from all over. So thank you so much, and we will see you next time.